Bruin, I guess what what's been working so well for the bench over over the last couple of games and, and again tonight with that group? I think the ball movement. You know, I think it's making it easy for all of us. Uh, everyone's playing on selfish. Um, and then I think the defensive end too. You know, we get we get big stops and, and we've been pushing the pace. So I think that's the reason for, you know, putting up so many points right now. Isn't it a difficult position to be in you know, the, the bench plays really well and the starting group just doesn't play very well? Are you, are you sitting on the bench at that point thinking, uh, how, like, how can I help in that situation? No, I think, you know, I think we all have some of them nights. Um, there's some nights the bench isn't as good as the starting group. There's some nights, you know, this. Not at all, you know. We've got some very talented players in both groups, and um, you know, I think I, I obviously believe in those guys is just like they probably believe in us. So, after kind of a deflating loss like this, how how hard is it to get that momentum back? Hopefully, not too hard. But um, yeah, you know, we've been we have we've had a great stretch, a great nine game stretch, nine and one, eight and one. Um, you know, and this is just hopefully this is just a hiccup and it's just like a little bump in the road and we keep going uh, on what we were doing. Um, but yeah, I think there's a lot of resilient guys here, so I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Can that shooting be contagious when you're out with a group? Do you press a little bit more if another guy's not shooting and kind of vice versa? If somebody else is shooting well, you feel like you can shoot better? Mm, personally, no. Not really. Um, you know, I don't think. You know, I put my own work in personally, so you know I try and trust my work, not you know the vibe someone else has or the rhythm someone else doesn't have. Like that doesn't really change much, you know. Coach, you guys had a tough practice yesterday. What was tough about it? Um, kind of carried into today's game. I don't know. We don't usually practice, and we had a practice. I think that's my, maybe what was tough about it. But um, yeah, I don't think. You know, as a player, I didn't see it as tough, but um, yeah, in the NBA, it's hard to get practices in. So I guess any practice is a tough practice usually. So. Brandon, what's it been like playing alongside Bones and just kind of you know figuring out between you two how to how to mesh and how to play off of one another? Yeah, I think we're 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 starting to you know kind of build some rhythm, uh, build a connection, and Bones is a hell of a player. Uh, played great tonight. And yeah, yeah, I think he's going to be a great player. He's young and he's doing really well right now. And you know, I enjoy playing with him. So, anything else? Thank you, Brent. Thank you, Bill. Thanks, Thank you, Brent. Oh, Brent. Mm -hmm. I saw a fan give you a gift earlier mm -hmm. from Michigan State. Yeah. What was it? And he gave did me you a, get a chance to talk to him? He gave me a few pairs of socks. Um, no, that's always dope when you know fans have gifts and. You know, they're thinking about you. Uh, I always appreciate that stuff, and um, hopefully there's more gifts coming my way. <laughs> I enjoy receiving gifts, so. Um, Any gift in particular? Lisa, what? Any gift in particular you want to receive? I mean, sh I mean, we can keep upping the price on these gifts. I'm okay with that. You know, we start with socks, maybe end with a car. Who knows? <laughs> if possible, so we'll see. We'll, we'll see who loves me the most. <laughs> It's a competition now. <laughs> Goes for y'all too. <laughs>